These cats up front for Pittsburgh. The real deal. Whoa. Real. Whoa. Our D-line is full of studs, and I think everybody knows that, and we play off of each other and we complement each other. You know, having a, an All-American caliber D-in on the other side with Pat, I know the other side's protected, and he'll force sacks to me, and I'll force sacks to him. Rashad Weaver in for the sack. Welcome back, Mr. Weaver. Lovick is flushed. He's got nowhere to go, and he's brought down. Jones again. What a huge game. Patrick Jones the second is having. Get it, baby. Syracuse time. First game back in 628 days. We're making a statement. Getting back on the field after missing that many days, it just felt like everything I waited for and worked for and just finally paid off. And, you know, even run, running through the tunnel without the fans, it still still felt like running through Hines and being on game day. And it, it was just a blessing to make it there and know that my hard work paid off and I had a pretty good game and came out the game safe with the win. We get it. We back. Baby. It's a mission every week. Good enough. Time it up. Uh, so the injury, it was August 8th, I believe. I just was on a block. I, I knew it was a boot play, try to get outside of a tight end block and kind of landed weird. And it just felt like somebody honestly shot me in the leg. It was one of the worst pains I felt. We went and got MRI and about an hour later they told me. And uh, at that moment, I just, I kind of, I was lost for about two days. But after that, you know, I was good. I'm a, I'm a pretty strong-minded guy. I was like, everything happens for a reason. And, and I was excited to attack rehab. Every day I came to work. And, and that's why I'm back 150% with no issues. Welcome back, Rashad Weaver. I don't understand how you don't block this guy. He is unblocked off the end of the line of scrimmage. Get it. We back, baby. Our D line is special, and I think people talk about it because we're we're solid front to back, and that starts with uh, the players being willing to work and to have a great coach like Coach Partridge. You know, Coach Partridge knows the in and out of a D line like nobody else, and then we have young guys and old guys that come in and want to learn from him because we know he'll make us great. Hey okay, guys, are doing a great job by collapsing the pocket down, so continue to do that. Yeah, I'm so grateful that uh, Coach Narduzzi hired him and that he's here because without him, I honestly don't think I would be this far or anywhere close to uh, where I am now, and I think I'd be wasting a lot of talent. Yeah, seeing the Steelers definitely does inspire me. You know, I definitely do take it for granted sometimes. I never take it for granted in the morning when I'm walking through the parking lot and I see all the cars and stuff. That makes me think about it every morning. You know, I want to have a car like that or some kind of cars like that. I do definitely love how you can come out here and watch practice. You just have to be appreciative of it and you should take full advantage of it. So I might do start doing that a little bit more. They're even practicing out here right now which is kind of crazy. I could go sit out here for the next two hours and just watch them practice and, and enjoy it all and soak up knowledge and see how it is at the next level so I know once I get there what to expect. BC's offense is in prime scoring position. Jakovic under pressure, and he loses oh, the football. He the ball what an away. unbelievable play. That is an unbelievable play to make the sack and steal the football away and get it back to his offense. I'm Rashad Weaver, and you're watching Pitt Beyond the Script.